Shrek, one of the greatest cartoon trilogy films ever created. I mean, this shit slaps harder than Will Smith does at the bloody Oscars. I mean, that's what it feels like watching Shrek. I mean, number one, fantastic. Number two, insane. Number three, I don't remember what happened. Number four, I don't remember what happens, but I just know they're all so good. I don't even think I've seen number four. I have to admit, I think I probably tuned out after number two. It's a damn lie. I remember when I was younger, and this is embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to admit it. I used to watch Shrek number two religiously all the time, and then one day my dad told me there was a Shrek one. And I was like, <laughs> you're a liar. This is the first one in this series, Shrek 2. It makes sense. Shrek 2 is number one. But I was so shocked when it arrived in the post. Really? Fiona was a human being? I was like, dude, Fiona's, Fiona's a green Shrek-looking freak, motherfucker. Why are, you, why are you smoking, dog? But with the fantastic news that Lord Farquaad, the legend, the man, the myth, the hairy chest with the salami nips and the sipping the martinis with a mouldy olive, John Lithgow want to return as Lord Farquaad. I just realised it says wants to. I thought he said is returning when I first read that. That's ruined my day. That's ruined my life. Oh, it's him. I do know him. Lord Farky. Anyway, Lord Farquad. Shall he return? If there isn't, pray to him because we want him to. But that's not what this video is. This video is about the horror that was Shrek 1995. DreamWorks, the people who made Shrek. Great bunch of lads, great bunch of lads. Honestly, no nonces or pedos, as far as we know. And that's the that's the that's the bare minimum these days. If you go into an establishment, into a you know knowing people, are there any nonces? No. Well done. You have to a flying start. In 1995, DreamWorks produced a one-minute test footage of Shrek, and as you can see, it is horrifying. I mean, that shit would keep anyone awake at night. Look at it face, its eyes, its ears, its nasty teeth. Now, you, I know an ogre is meant to look like your toe, or is meant to look like your ass cheeks after you've not showered for a week. But my Jesus Lord above, there is like, sh there, is, there is Shrek, and then there's whatever that is. I mean, no one would want to go see that. You want to like, at least be able to look at Shrek in the eyes and go, yeah, this dude, this dude's breath smells. You would not be able to get that close because it looks like he'd either eat your head off or you'd be too nervous. When the production manager saw it, he was horrified. The characters appeared unsettling and bizarre. True. I feel very unsettled and he looks like he does not belong in a alien film. You know, never mind does he belong in a kid's cartoon. Or oh, kids. Everyone knows it's for adults. <laughs> Production was halted immediately and the 40 person crew was dismissed. So unfortunately, 40 people had a job for about two days creating a one minute you know, montage of, look, we've got this great kids show, you're going to love it. It's about an ogre who lives in the swamp who meets a donkey and then eventually a cat. He then maybe finds a wife who actually loves him, not for the way he looks, but because he's a hero and a strong man. But he looks like this. Yeah, no thanks, dude. You can keep that shit in the bin, motherfucker. That was 1995. Obviously, Shrek 1 came out in what? 2001, maybe 2? I don't know, let's have a goof. 2001, right there. And as you can see, this Shrek... Oh, who's that dude on the left? Is that what he was trying to look like? But look at that, Shrek. Shrek looks much, much better, much, much happier, much more agreeable. You don't mind looking at him. The scariest thing is of them ears. Like, imagine what's in them. Like, imagine cleaning them, dude. You need a fucking sword to get down them. Anyway, where was I? I was reading this, wasn't I? Let's delve back into the chapter that is this. The studio had already spent millions. So millions back in 1995 is like double millions. You know what I mean? And had nothing to show for it. The project was transferred to CGI studio in Northern California, which gave Shrek a more realistic appearance. <laughs> More realistic. Yeah, so we're creating a film about an ogre who looks like shit. He eats bugs and is horrible to everyone. Let's make him look really human and, like, you know, give him a pair of testicles or something. Who said that? This is a kid film. But yeah, throw in the balls. Let's get loads of ball jokes in there. Yeah. Before 2001 release, Shrek was considered by Dreams to be a low priority project, often seen as a place where animators were sent after failing on other films. So it was like the, the prison of animation. It was like the doghouse. You know, oh shit, you, you made that? You made Pocahontas? Well, goddamn. We got another one coming. As soon as they leave the facility, grab them. Put the bag over the head and do not let them leave over. That is what happened to you and your poor friends if you were seen on a DreamWorks Porsche, like, you know, making shit. It was nicknamed the Gulag. Very appropriate these days. If an artist didn't succeed on The Prince of Egypt, a film that later underperformed, they were reassigned to Shrek, a process employees referred to as being shrek <laughs> That's fantastic. You have been shrek That was cool, wasn't it? 
that was sick, dog. That was sick. So yeah. Oh, oh, here's some more picks. Look out. Oh, oh. Oh no, it looks kind of similar to someone I know. <laughs> Your mum. What? Don't unsubscribe. Don't dislike. I'm sorry. Don't tell Tracy. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this is not something you'd want to watch. This is something you'd find horrifying. Do you remember the Haunted House? What was it? Monster House, that film as a kid. That used to scare me just because the people looked so freaky. Like the guy across the road, like even the kids all looked horrible. Like their facial features looked like they were malnourished. Like they, you know, had never been fed in their life. They looked like they had never, you know, done anything other than just walk around like this. See that inside. But yeah, I mean, look at this. You No wonder you felt like you were being Shreked. I mean, this is disgusting. I wonder what Donkey looked like. Oh, look, the original. I might get banned for using this. I'm probably not going to play the audio. I feel good. Oh, I got you. You couldn't hear it because it was that song. But yeah, what do you think of Shrek? I mean, that was terrifying, scary to look at. Oh my God, AI has evolved the meme even further. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. But yeah, far, far away. What do you think of this Shrek looking freaky motherfucker? I mean, that shit is going to keep me up at night. I need to go take some sleeping pills tonight because motherfucker, this man is not going to bed. This man is staying awake. Are you, I, are you, don't get Shrek. What do you mean I look like I've not brushed my teeth in 500 fucking years? Like, imagine Fiona kissing that. He'd find fucking food from 10 years ago in his mouth. But yeah, let me know what you think of Shrek. Scary? Terrifying. Ugly? Absolutely. Missed opportunity. I want to see like Winnie the Pooh, you know, the horror film, like the Bambi horror film they're coming out, but I want to see Shrek version. I want this motherfucker's face plastered to the poster and it's like, shrek or you've been shrek And he's just a serial killer who goes around murdering everyone. And he has a pet donkey called, you guessed it, donkey. But it donkey has a little pet kitten as well. A little puss. Meow, meow. Anyway, goodbye, terrifying Shrek.